How are you doing? Damp Sam here. So, why is your chimney breast damp? The reason why your chimney breast is damp is probably because sulfate salts are contaminating the plaster. I'm just uh, gonna, you can't really see for that, but I'm just uh, doing a wide shot. And what I want you to see is, over in the far corner, I've left this bit of plaster on. Now, you can see how damp it is, you can see how wet it is, and usually you might get circles and spots up here, up top, and they'll be like, a, and they'll have a yellow tinge to them, and sometimes they'll show up as like a, a, a wet patch. And after it's rained, it'll show wetter than, uh, than it's summer and things like that. And then you'll think that it's, it's coming down the chimney when it rains. So you think, oh, I've got a problem with roof. Get on phone to roofer. Hey, up, roofer. Can you come and have a look at my roof? Roofer comes around, looks at your roof. Oh, yeah, you, all your flashing's all done and you've got slates. Can you fix it? Yeah, I'll fix it. It's going to be, I don't know, two grand. Roofer fixes your, your roof. All dry, all done. Next time, next time it rains, big wet patch appears again. You phone up roofer. Hey, up, Mr. Roofer. Um, I think roof's leaking in again. The roof says, oh, come and have a look at it. It goes up. Well, I can't see, you know, I can't see out on the roof. It's, it's all dry. It, it must be something else. Yeah, it was something else before. It was sulfate salts that had come through. Roof, might, uh, chimney roof, and that might have been wet at some point, and then it had been fixed. But then roofers will keep coming out, coming out, and then doing a bit more, doing a bit more, getting some money, more money off you until they get fed up and then they'll say, oh, it must be an internal problem. Always get a, a damp surveyor to come and have a look at it. Um, get somebody to look up, up on the roof, make sure it's somebody who's um, competent and somebody who's trustworthy. Once they've had a look, get a damp surveyor to come and have a look because if, if inside a chimney's been, been wet, if in, inside a floor's been wet, it'll cause this kind of issue. So salts absorb moisture. And if, if, you've, if you've had bonding plaster put on, like what they've put on here, carlite bonding, which is a gypsum based product, then that reacts with salts and they just keeps absorbing moisture, absorbing moisture. And the only way to get it, the only way to fix it is to either hack it off and replaster it with a salt neutralizing plaster and treat it or put um, a waterproofing system on waterproofing membrane on that type of system it's what we call a waterproof system some people call them a tanking system I don't I call them a waterproofing system so you have to put that on and you have to neutralize them salts that's inside your chimney breast which is in here and up here so you can see up there so that's from when fossil fuels were burnt and all that soot's on inside your chimney flue. No matter how many times you clean it, you'll still have it in there because that smoke will have gone into your brickwork and them salts are in your brickwork. So when that gets wet, they migrate to the surface. Now, it don't always happen, but in these old houses, old uh, Victorian houses up to, say, 30s or whatever, when you've had an open fire, then that's probably going to be an issue. So always get somebody to have a look at it. Always get somebody to have a look at it that's got some knowledge about sulfate salts, um, ground salts, things like that, because not all damp is rising. Like I said before, not all damp is rising. You've got different types of damp. Sulfate salts, you've got um, condensation, you've got penetrating damp, you've got lateral damp. Um, I could go on, then you've got leaking pipes, things like that. So you need somebody to look at what issue you've got and make sure that the rule all others are. And it's normally somebody with some experience. So, this video was just to show you, bonding is a plasterer's nemesis, uh, damp proofer's nemesis. It's a plasterer's friend, damp proofer's nemesis. Because if you put it on lower than a meter, it's, you're gonna have any issues. If you put it on a chimney breast, you're gonna get issues as well. So that's damp Sam, just a quick shot film hope you got some value from it please subscribe 
and uh, pass this video on if you know somebody that's got damp issues and have a look at my back catalogue because I've probably done a, a video on damp. So see you later and have a good rest of your day.